So before we get into this fishing part, I want to mention this brand Angler Clothing Company. They make really good clothing such as hoodies, hats, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts. And the gear that I'm using is a medium light rod with a 1000 size Shimano Sienna. The setup that I'm going to use today is called a Carolina rig. I will post a picture in the top right hand corner of the video. Enjoy. This is the fishing part of it coming up in a few seconds. So we're out here surf fishing for Corvina, Croaker, Perch, Rays, Leopard Sharks, anything that's out here. And they're just right in this 10 yard range right here. So hopefully we get some. Let's go, it's a, it's a big one. Huh? Hey, you, you went in. This is a Corbina. I'm gonna fly him right up right here. And the reason I kept this guy is because I gill hooked him. And when you gill hook him, they die because of they bleed out. And so I wanted to release him, but then decided to harvest him because he would have died anyway. And so I'm just gonna cover right here. All the way down. And then Make a shallow incision. And you're just gonna, I'm gonna cut right along. Should I keep the skin on or off? Then you're just gonna to take the skin off, just. That's gonna freeze it. But we're gonna grill it now, bake it now. Like that. I'm just gonna want to get rid of that. Those pin bones right there. Just one fillet.
I'm just gonna wanna skin it just like that. And you're left with the fish like this. That's pretty much it. Now we're gonna cook them. Okay, so we are back with the first catch and cook. So we got our corbina that we um, froze and uh, vacuum sealed. So we're just gonna cut that open. Just gonna wanna get some plates out. to be dry. It's better for everything to be dry. <coughs> and just pat it down. That. Make sure there's no scales on it because scales do not taste good. So now that you have your two dry fillets scaled as well, after that you're going to want to just make sure all the fillets are up. So after this, you're going to want to get some ceramic, some ramekins, I think they're called. Let me just show you what they look like. You want to get some of these. And so some seasoning that we're going to use today, some oregano, some thyme, some red chili pepper, and some Old Bay seasoning some pepper, and some salt, as well as some garlic. So let's do the garlic. So you're just going to want to get a few because a little goes a long way with the garlic. Just going to want to get the flaky parts off. I'm just going to just crush it like that to you'll be able to get all the flavor. So we'll do like two or three depending on the size. Like this one, it's really it's medium size. This one right here is medium size, so we'll just crush it like that. Probably do a smaller one if we can find one. Yeah. Couldn't find any, so we'll just do another one. Since we are doing two fillets, it will be nice to have a good garlic flavor in there. Now we're going to put the fish in. Actually, let's put some oil first. And put the fish in. We'll season the fish first, actually. Salt. Or pepper first. Salt. Old Bay. I'm gonna flip that. Get both sides so that we have good flavor on both sides of the fish. 
If you can't see what we're doing, sorry about that. It's just camera. We didn't do a tripod, just stacked on top of books. So we're just gonna put pepper, some more salt. Some more Old Bay. This is Old Bay seasoning for crabs, shrimp, and chicken. And it's also good for fish. Even though it doesn't mention fish, it's also really good for fish. We love using it. So we're just going to make sure that everything is nice and coated. Put it right on top of those garlic. I'll take one of the garlic out to put on top later. Like just right there. Perfect, and then we'll get some thyme. Some oregano. Some tapped and some red chili pepper. Because I want it to be spicy, but not too much. Because this stuff is spicy. And I put a bit much there. But who doesn't like some spice? Some more olive oil. And this. Just more of that old bay. If you could see any parts that you missed. A bit much, but. You know, I see some parts with no salt, and we'll just salt the. All the seasoning right there. Put some more pepper too. Okay. Then we're going to put it in the oven for 350 degrees. And we'll start with probably 15 minutes because it's a really thin filet. And then we'll check after that and we'll, um, we'll let you guys know what it looks like. So, we'll get back. And if you haven't noticed the shirt that I'm wearing, it's by Angler Clothing Company. It's for me, a local place just down in San Diego. And they make really good quality stuff. They make hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and long sleeves. I think they also make shorts and pants. I'm not sure. But they do make awesome clothing with awesome like pictures and stuff. And they also have sweatshirts that are really awesome. So make sure to go check those guys out. I'll post a link in my description to go buy some of their stuff. Okay, we'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so the fish has just come out and it looks really good, really flaky. And I have my mom and my sister behind the camera and we're all gonna try it. So in total, it was probably 350 degrees for like 15 minutes or so. So we're gonna try it right now. Really good. Yeah. That's very good. It doesn't even taste like fish. Very good. Tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the end of this video. We'll catch you guys later. Um, new video should be coming out next week or next weekend because I'm going out with my buddy on his boat. So, should be good.